back to the channel. In this video, we'll go over how I set up my first MCP server using SQLite database. So Anthropic back in November 2024 released this blog about model context protocol, which stands for MCP. What exactly is MCP? It's a new standard for connecting AI assistants, the systems where the data lies. Now, in my case, it's the SQLite database that I use for my Python application that is a LOM benchmark for open source LOMs taking the CPA exam. Though SQLite is my audit trail of the results of every LOM taking the CPA exam that I can benchmark and evaluate all the open source LLMs and see how they compare to each other. In addition, I use the Python application to generate CPA questions that the LLMs will be taking on the CPA exam. So I have that audit trail in the database where I can do further analysis. How did an LOM do on a certain section of the T CPA exam, such as audit or tax, the type of topics where it performed well or got questions wrong taking the CPA exam. This is where we can connect this to a Claude and get insights of our data set. So it goes on into this blog is a new standard for connecting AI assistants to the systems where the data lies, including contact repositories, business tools, and development environments. Its aim is to help frontier models, such as Claude, produce better, more reliant responses. It's connecting our LLMs to our data sources. We can gain so much insight. And as AI assistants gain mainstream adoption, the industry has invested heavily in model capabilities, achieving rapid advances in reasoning and quality. And CP is that connection to where our data lies, my case SQLite database, to the LOM with our chatbot where it would be prompting it, and then it can read as a tool using NCP to connect to our database. This is the documentation on the MCP we're using is NCP in the Claude desktop. So let's take a further look at our local MCP. We'll do a quick peek and then I'll show you the Claude for desktop of how we set this up. So this is the tutorial for setting up the Claude for desktop. If you don't have it installed, go to claw.ai on desktop and install that on your local machine. And once you have it installed, as you'll add the file system MCP server. And let's go into the desktop. So this is what it will look like as back at a tool, a nice little message. Here in the upper left hand corner, hamburger menu, go to file, and then go to settings. And then in settings, we're going to go to developer. And this is where we have, I set up SQLite database. You can edit your configura configuration. So essentially what we're going to do is within settings is find our Claude underscore desktop underscore config dot JSON file. You'll open that up. And for me, I use VS code. And this is where when you first use it, it's gonna be just the curly brackets. And this is where we're gonna enter in our NCP server. So this is a, just a quick sneak peek I'll show you how I set this up using cursor for our time. All right, so this is our configuration like you saw. I'm setting that up, but here we're going to be using cursor. Make sure than having to memorize this entire thing. Now let's go into cursor. 
show you how this is all set up. All right, I'm in the cursor desktop. And the first thing I did was prompting cursor to develop a MCP server based on my SQLite database. I swear if you have application already with a certain database of where your data lies, is cursor's great reading that whole code base and then generating a NCP server just like this. So the output I received was right here. So cursor connecting, importing the libraries with SQLite, JSON, our systems, and then I had, one thing I had to install was the library pip install mcp. And then this is the mcp server that cursor set up for me. Once you have that installed and ready to go, the next step is having cursor set up the Claude underscore desktop underscore config that JSON. So what we saw from the Claude documentation is we're getting all these key value pairs set up in our JSON file. So here, setting up the MCP server, calling to our database from our SQLite. Let's take a quick peek at this database. This is the database browser for SQLite, where I have multiple databases, where this is the question bank from generates EPA questions. This is the exam results from all the LLMs taking the CPA exam. So it'll have Gemma 3, 1 billion parameter, Aslama 3.1, DeepSeek. It's capturing all this data that I can then tap into using Claude to connect to this database. So it comes in really handy as I update my website, update uh, different reports that I generate. It's just a valuable tool that Claude be able to connect directly to my database where it lies. You're going to get more quality results of having it connected. And this, instead of dropping this file in every time, is has that direct connection to our database. So this is the Python application. So it's an LLM performance leaderboard where local open source LLMs take the CPA exam and I can see the results. So for my latest results, we have Dolphin 3 is on top of the leaderboard and then followed by Minstrel and then Gemma 3. This is where we have the detailed results from our database. As I mentioned, it will take the CPA exam. This is where we can generate our exam based on our question bank and then select the LOM to take the CPA exam to get those results. Then we also have the LOM question generator. So we need a question bank for the LOMs for taking the CPA exam. So we had different applications that are then stored into our SQLite database for us to examine and gain further insight. All right, we're not going to open up Claude Desktop and start asking using the NCP server questions on our SQLite database. Let's first ask it. What tables are available in the CPA exam database? So with the results we see is the CPA exam database contains seven main tables as the questions, tablets, exam sessions, LOM, exam results, 
the LOM question results, and the LOM benchmarks. Let's head over to our database. Yeah, it did. All right, we can see here are these seven different tables available. We can see is connecting. It's able to ask answer our questions on our SQLite database. Now let's ask if what is the best LOM for accounting based on the CPA exam results? And see what it comes up with. And that's where we can gain that insight from our database, where if I'm developing blog content, providing reports to my clients, that this is a great way to provide detailed insights of my data sources based on my different applications, where I can ask it direct questions instead of having to copy and import the database every time. Just makes our life easier, seamless process, connecting our data sources to our LOMs. All right, so here's the results. So to the top performing model is Dolphin 3. So what we saw from our leaderboard that is accurate. Um, it's followed by Minstrel. And then in third place is Gemma 3. That's giving us key findings. So this is really interesting to see what the model comes up with. So it's saying that every mile has failed the CPA exam, which is correct. Um, none of the miles have yet received that 75% passing or the CPA shows the different section difficulty ranking, which is very ins insightful of seeing how well it does. Uh, performance patterns, and then give us overall conclusion on the bottom line that Dolphin 3 is technically the best LLM for accounting based on the data. None of these models are ready for professional accounting and work. So this is great to see this level of content that can really help us gain additional insight into our applications. Into our Head over to jmartin.consulting and check out the accounting LOM leaderboard. This will provide the latest results on the best performing open source LLMs for taking the CPA exam, see the performance rankings. So the top performing model is Dolphin 3, followed by Menstrual. In third place is Gemma 3, the 12 billion parameter. The site also provides the top mile comparison, top mile analysis also a link to the AI Accounting Weekly Newsletter where you can get the latest insights on LLM performance delivered straight to your inbox. Also it discusses AI applications and what's happening in AI in the accounting industry. That's a weekly newsletter that free of charge for you to gain these insights on the accounting industry. Also, head over to the blog section on jmartin.consulting. Wrote a blog post on leveraging MCP servers in the accounting and auditing industry. So this provides further insights and understanding about MCP servers, why they're important to the accounting and auditing industry, and the top five use cases of MCP server for the counting and auditing. But thank you so much for checking out this video. We will see you next time.